Welcome to part 29. In the last video, I talked about adding um, a div and two links that surround each content block when you're in the editing view, and we're going to use those to indicate which areas on the page are editable. And uh, this is what the preview looks like so far. And one thing I wanted to correct before I continue is if we open up, um, actually, let me show you in the source. If you do a preview of the page after you're logged in, and you look at the uh, div with the class of fp underscore edit, you'll notice we're missing an equal sign here. So I'm going to go back to CMS uh, models m underscore CMS, and I need to fix that because that will um, cause problems when we're styling things. So with that out of the way, um, let me remind you how this system works. Um, this is a little bit confusing, so to summarize this and to put it in a tabbed format it looks basically like this uh, we have an FP edit div that surrounds our content block and within that div we have two uh, we have two links an edit type link and an um, edit link and the edit type indicates the type of block and the edit link um, allows the user to click on that area and edit the block and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make both of these links use uh, position absolute and the edit type link will be positioned to the top and right whereas the edit link will be absolutely positioned to the top and left and we're going to be using a combination of jQuery and uh, CSS to style these CSS will do most of the heavy lifting and I'll use a little bit of jQuery to determine the sizes for the absolutely positioned elements <clears throat> so let me move to fp underscore style dot css and at the bottom of the page I'm going to add a couple extra blank lines and the first uh, style that I'm going to add is going to be for fp underscore edit and I know there are going to be two links within this div that are going to be positioned absolutely so I want to make sure that this one has a position of relative so that the links within this div are positioned in the correct spots I'm also going to add display inline block. Um, this is the most cross browser of the display options based on what I want for this particular div. So uh, underneath that, I'm going to add FP edit type. And uh, this is the link that indicates the type of the content block. And I want to move that into the top right uh, corner of the FP edit div. Um, but first, I want to add a display block so it expands the width and height correctly. I want to add padding of 4 pixels top, 18 pixels left and right, and 0 pixels on the bottom. I want to add a background um, that for a file that's within the images folder. And it's edit underscore, excuse me, underscore type dot gif and it's going to be positioned to the uh, top and center and it won't repeat and for text I want text to be color I want them to be a white color and I want it to be font size of 11 pixels and now to adjust the positioning of this element I want to use um, position absolute I'm going to do a top of negative 6 pixels so it moves this up and out of the FP edit div just slightly. A right of 10 pixels, a height of 25 pixels, a height of 25 pixels, and finally text decoration none. Um, this removes the default underline on text links. So below that, now I'm going to do FP edit link. And it's going to have a background, excuse me, not a background, a border of one pixel solid orange. And this is going to be a border that surrounds this element and indicates that it's an editable area. And it's going to have position absolute, a top of zero, a left of zero, 
and display block to make sure it expands um, to fit the full width and height properly. And then a couple other properties. It's going to have an overflow of hidden. Excuse me. Um, overflow there. A text indent of negative 9,999 pixels. And what this does, if I briefly go back to our um, index.php and preview this, it removes the edit block text here and takes that and moves it off the edge of the screen. So that's that. Um, and then an outline of none. This just removes the default outline when this link is clicked on. Um, just cleans up the display slightly. And the last thing before I forget, when I was testing this in multiple browsers, I ran into an issue specifically with IE7 where the FP edit link, um, the browser had issues determining whether the cursor was hovered over the edit link or over the content which the edit link is over. If that makes any sense. Um, let me start over. The FP edit link is positioned absolutely on top of the content and the browser had trouble determining which was being hovered over, the actual content or this link. So what I found to get around this was this particular element needs a background. And it needs a one pixel transparent background and this um, removes browser confusion and makes things work consistently across browsers. So it's going to have uh, images slash uh, trans dot gif and that'll take care of things. So below FP edit link, uh, we also want to add some sort of styling when this link is hovered over. And in that case, we're going to change the background. to edit underscore uh, bg dot png. And this will change the background to the diagonal uh, striped orange background that uh, you saw earlier in the preview. So the last thing that I want to cover in this particular video is I want to change the z-index on these elements. Um, basically it's the stacking what elements appear on top of what other elements. And I want the content to be at the lowest level. So I'm going to change FP edit block to have a Z index of zero. I want the content, or excuse me, um, I want the link to appear on top of the content. So here at the end of this, I'm going to add a Z index of uh, 99 pixels. And then on top of the edit link, I want the edit type notification, that link uh, to appear. So I'm going to add a Z index of 100. And uh, these exact numbers, uh, excuse me, this is Z index of 99, not you know, pixels on the end. So just so I'm clear, the Z index, the actual value that I've chosen is sort of arbitrary. Um, but basically, the higher number, the higher in the stack it's going to be. So 100 is larger than 99, so FP edit type will appear on top of FP edit link. So as the last thing, let's go ahead and preview this and uh, see where we are. There we go. So we're headed in the right direction. Um, we have our edit types and in the next video I'm going to be talking about using some jQuery to give proper heights and widths to our editable areas.